Welcome to my, uh, hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my uh, Saturday Horror Reviews. Uh, this is episode, I believe, uh, 12, I believe. Yeah, 12. Anyway, um, okay, so for this week, uh, I picked, a, you know, I'm a big monster movie fan. I love the giant monster movies, and I picked a movie that was actually sent to me by a good, a good friend, Tyler Preston 20. Okay, uh, he sent this to me along with King Kong vs. Godzilla. This is 1967's King Kong Escapes, okay? And, you know, like I said, I love the giant monster movies. I grew up watching them as a kid, so I'm a big fan of these. Okay, so what this basic story is about is um, you have an evil scientist, a Doctor Who, <laughs> believe it or not, that's his name, and his sponsor, Madam X. <laughs> uh, they're supposed to be digging for this highly radioactive uh, element called Element X, okay, it's supposed to give them a leg up in the nuclear, I guess, uh, arms race. So, you know, Matter X is basically sponsoring Doctor Who to do this, and he uh, creates, after stealing the plans, basically, from uh, uh, sketches, excuse me, from uh, Commander Nelson, uh, he builds a mechanical uh, uh, King Kong to dig in the North Pole to dig out, you know, dig down to get to Element X, because they haven't. Have, Apparently, there's a ton of it underneath the North Pole. Okay, and his scenario is to dig that up and then, you know, give it to Madame X and to her country, her foreign country, and then sell, um, sell it back to her, you know, she'll give it to her government and they'll be far advanced in the nuclear arms race. Okay, but what happens is Kong uh, doesn't, he acts a mechanical Kong. Uh, when he does it, digs down, he actually has suffers a uh, a malfunction, so he can't uh, bring it out. Okay, and in, in the meantime, you have this UN inspection team um, made up of uh, uh, Commander Nelson, uh, uh, Lieutenant Commander uh, Hero and Narara, and um, uh, Nurse Susan Miller. Okay, um, they're on their way, I think, to some 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 other uh, uh, testing facility when they actually. In, in the submarine, and they actually run into an accident where they have to, the ship has to pause and they have to um, repair it. So, in the meantime, they come close to an island, an island where the legendary King Kong is supposed to live. Okay, and since they have time, you know, the commander and the, uh, Susan Miller and, and his lieutenant commander, they decide to go onto the island and explore and look around. And of course, they actually run into uh, King Kong. Actually, before they run into King Kong, the commander and the lieutenant commander, they basically tell, which is, this is the dumbest thing I ever see. They tell uh, Susan Miller, listen, you stay here. It'll be safer for you to be here by yourself while we go off and explore. So basically they leave, tell her, you stay here by yourself while we go off to explore, okay, which is retarded. You know, it would be better, of course, if she went with them. But of course, then they wouldn't have the main plot point of the movie. But of course, they go off, and of course, she's waiting, and then in the meantime, a hungry uh, uh, giant reptile spots Susan and thinks, hmm, this will make a nice snack. But then, of course, uh, she starts screaming. And then, of course, who hears it? King Kong. He wakes up in his cave hearing the screams. And, you know, he's a sucker for a pretty for, for, for a pretty girl. And he comes out and battles the monster. And, <laughs> of course, then picks up Susan Miller. And, of course, he's instantly smitten with the gorgeous Susan Miller. He's instantly smitten with her. And she kind of, she kind of, he kind of listens to her, to what she says, and she basically tells him to put her down, okay, and and she even, you know, they go off, you know, the, the commander and the, the lieutenant commander come back, and they try to escape in a little sub and get back to the submarine, but of course, King Kong is smitten, so he follows him back out there, and he even catches up to the submarine, kind of shakes it, and so Susan Miller comes out and tells him, basically, you know, leave, no, Kong, don't shake the ship, don't destroy the ship. And Kong, of course, is chasing, of course, and does what he says. And then they kind of take off and leave Kong to his own devices. Okay, and then, of course, they go back and report this to the UN Commission that they found the island where Kong was and stuff, and they report it. And then, of course, who's at this meeting at the UN? Madame X. She's there, actually undercover, and she reports back to uh, Doctor Who and tells him, listen, um, you can go back, you know, Doctor Who, you go get the, you know, you go get the, the real King Kong, okay, and we can control him, but we, if we capture uh, the 10th commander and uh, 
sooner than later, because apparently you call and listen start. So that's what their plan is. They go back and they actually successfully kidnap Kong and take him back to the North Pole. Okay, and then they fake uh, orders and take and capture the lieutenant commander and the commander and Susan Miller and take them back to the island, into the North Pole with them. And of course, they, you know, they, they have Kong drugged and hypnotized and they have him digging out the, looking for the element X. But then of course Kong gets, gets, you know, he gets, you know, he's hypnotized, but then he gets kind of unhypnotized because it's a beeping noise in this element X that kind of wake, makes him dip makes him dizzy at first and then he kind of wakes him up and he disregards the uh, the head you know the headphones that you know the command Doctor Who attached to him to give him instructions about digging and of course then Kong tries to escape but then they lower the cage on him and then at the same time you know Doctor Who and Madame X are trying to convince Lieutenant Commander and the other commander to convince Kong have Susan Miller to convince Kong to go back down there and dig for Element X. And of course they're not having it. Of course, and so they very, try various things of torture, freezing them out and stuff, and and trying to smooth talk him. And even Matter X tries to wine and dine the commander, and kind of Matter Harries him <laughs> in a way. But of course, that doesn't work. And then of course, King Kong, you know, he breaks out. He he hears, of course, Susan Miller being tortured, and he basically breaks out of this thing, and he basically swims off from the North Pole and heads for Tokyo. Of course, <laughs> of course, heads for Tokyo, and of course. With the uh, mechanical Godzilla, not Godzilla, mechanical Kong, you know, and you know, right in, right in, uh, right after him. And of course, somewhere along the line, Madame X, she, uh, you, you see, she kind of has a change of heart, and she kind of helps the uh, the commander and the lieutenant commander and Susan Miller escape. Of course, from uh, and they follow, they go to Tokyo as well, and meet up with. Uh, with the with the military officials there and basically tell them to don't don't attack Kong because if you attack Kong and he fights he's gonna destroy Tokyo. If you, or, or if you, you know when the mega Kong is coming, you know, don't you know, they don't want them to fight because of course they'll destroy Tokyo. And then of course Susan Miller comes and she tells Kong, you know, she calms Kong down and tells him don't don't fight Kong. But then of course Mega Kong comes and he's destroying stuff and he's to get to Kong and then he, you know, he puts Susan Miller down Kong, and then Megaton picks her up, and basically he starts climbing this mega tower that looks sort of like the uh, tower, tower of, uh, what's that in Paris? The, the te- I forgot, what do you call that? Tower of, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, Eiffel Tower, that's what it looks like, the Eiffel Tower, but it's called the Tokyo Tower in this movie, but it looks just like a, the Eiffel Tower to me. Anyway, um, of course, and then you know, you have them the fight, the fighting battle between Kong and Mega Kong, basically climbing up the the big uh, tower, Tokyo Tower. Okay, now this movie, like I, said, I remember this as a kid, seeing this as a kid, and the one thing I want to say is, woo, they really, really, I think did a crappy job with King Kong because he's the uh, guy in the suit looks, re- it looks. First of all, he looks too short. Okay, and and then the second thing. Just the design of it was just really, really ugly. I mean, they really made him look ugly. I think they could have made him look a lot better than he, you know, than he was. He, he looks really, really, really ugly in this movie. I mean, he looks downright handsome, I guess, in King Kong versus Godzilla. But in this one, he looks sort of, like I said, looks too short to me and just it looks really, really ugly. <laughs> okay, which is, you know, that's my opinion about that. But anyway, uh, and I also remember a thing from my childhood, because that Susan Miller, okay, the nurse, the hot nurse, her voice really, really annoying. <laughs> you know, you know, she was the only one that could talk to Kong and make Kong do things, but her voice was oof, really annoying. Kong, come back, Kong. You know, just yeah, you know, put me down, Kong. No, just really annoying. Anyway, uh, but overall, I, I was entertained by this movie, and like I said, the guy who played Doctor Who was the proper villain. Really uh, menacing and and trying to be charming at the same time. And Madame X, the, the woman that played Madame X, was she was gorgeous too as well. Okay, and you know, the commander, the guy who played uh, the commander, he was good. And lieutenant commander, you know, he was good as well. And, you know, good, like I say you could act in it. And like I say you had some couple of fights in here. The, the, the big climactic fight, I guess, between Kong and 
MegaCon wasn't as good as I remember it. I mean, it was okay. You know, basically, they, they don't really, I mean, they have more of a fight, I think. Uh, well, no, the fight, I mean, it wasn't much of a fight, a bunch of, a couple of haymakers throwing in, the kicks and stuff, but basically them climbing up a, the tower, you know, I would have liked to see them more on land, you know, battling each other. That would have been, I think, a little bit better to me. But overall, it was an entertaining movie. So I'm going to King Kong Escapes. A, uh, let's see, a 7 out of 10? No, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Okay? Okay, it was entertaining. Not the best. Okay? But, like I said, I, I, I would have liked a better fight between Kong and Mega Kong. That would have probably pushed it over a 7 to me, but as of now, it's a decent one, so I'll give it a 6 out of 10 for King Kong Escapes. Anyway, that's my review of uh, King Kong Escapes. Let me know what you think. If you've seen it, of course, feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Pass this is for Trey Pass's Saturday Horror Review saying so long. And Horror Scope 101 channel as well. I'll put this on that channel as well. Saying so long and take care.